Good morning, believers. Good morning, believers. Good morning, Israel. It's your brother, J.D. Nija. J.D. Nausea. Word of Truth with J.D. Nausea. Word of Truth. Can you believe it? Can you believe the good news, the gospel? Can you believe that the things not seen... are more real than the things that are seen. Because the things that we see are temporal, but the things that we don't see are eternal. Good morning. Um, all praises, honor, and glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, the Master, the Adonai, His only begotten Son, only begotten Son, His only Son. The only begotten and God begat Jesus Christ. Jesus Christos, Yahshua, Joshua, Solomon, Isaac, Adam. Spirit came back again and again and again to fulfill the prophecy in the book that says he is fulfilled in the fullness of the volume of the book uh, and the Holy Spirit the Ruach in the Hebrew Ruach Holy Spirit Holy Ghost gives us an indwelling of that heavenly spirit so that we can know our creator and reconcile ourselves back to him through his word which is the Bible Good morning. Um, I had a couple ideas this morning, and I was going to talk about, I was going to stay on the same theme, being separate, being the outsider, being um, different from the world. Um, I heard John MacArthur talking about that this morning. What's wrong with people? And... Um, Basically, he, John MacArthur from Grace to You was saying, what's wrong with people is that they're selfish, they're greedy, they um, want to believe in the things that are in their own mind. Um, they don't want to have to bow to anything, anyone, especially um, realizing that they have a, all-powerful God that created them they don't, they like to think that they have control over themselves their lives and that um, they can make they can make judgment happen or not happen for themselves but anyhow um, first I was in I opened to um, where was I Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. I'm in I'm in Second Corinthians now. What happened is I um I opened to something and it it bounced me around a little bit. Um, I think it was Galatians, Romans. Let's see. Okay. So. Um. A lot of you may wonder why I claim it. I'm of the elect. I'm of 
Israel. I'm of Judah. I'm of the tribe of Benjamin, the southern kingdom. I am an apostle. I am sent. Um, how dare I? Um, basically... I come in the spirit of Paul, and um, <laughs> I just rolled back to Romans, and um, there was a reason the Lord brought me over here because He wanted me to um, to make clear something that I think I've already made clear. But um, as as this apostle, as this missionary, as this servant sent to do this job whatever this job that I'm doing is um, besides explaining uh, certain things about the way the Bible's written um, the the bigger story the truth of our Savior and and trying to figure out exactly how our Creator designed the story so that when the glory is seen at the end, the pieces will fit together so beautifully and so miraculously, um, that'll usher in the new kingdom because that light will be so bright with the coming of his glory through this Bible, this Bible story. Can't get the glory unless you know the story. So, um, in Romans 11, 1, this is where um, Paul says, um, I'm a certain type, and this is who I am, and um, you can you can bet your, your bippy on it. It says, um, Romans chapter 11, verse 1, I say then, has God cast away his people? God forbid. There's that word cast again. Um, when the angels, when these fallen angels were cast down, were they cast away? No, they were just cast, they were sent down to do this ministry. His people were cast. They were sent so when these people talk about these fallen angels, we know that there's we know that there's um, wickedness here, but um, the the truth of the matter is the ones with angelic power are doing God's will. The ones that are evil are these humans. So you know, over and over again, we hear this bullshit about. Um, evil fallen angels and blah 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 no 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 the evil people are the ones with no spirit they have no I mean the Lord definitely has is working through Satan to get some of these people to um, turn on the Lord and do these just abominable lying deceitful bullshit story you know but that's That's all in service of the story. And mostly they're just ignorant um, people without enough love in their heart to say no to Satan. They, they want what Satan can offer. They want the kingdoms of this world. They want to rule. They want power. They want what they want. And so... Let's get that out of the way, first of all. God forbid, for I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. God has not cast away his people, which he foreknew. What? <laughs> it says W-O-T. What? Ye not what the scripture said of Elias, how he maketh intercession to God against Israel, saying, Lord, they have killed the prophets and dig down thy altars. I am left alone, and they seek my life. Um, that's interesting because I just 
did a message on that this week about um, Elijah saying, I'm the only one left. I'm the only, I'm the only one. It's only me. And um, so Elijah said the same thing Paul's saying here. I am a servant of God. I am of the children of Israel. I am, I am, I am. And so when I say these things, um, these are the, these are the things that will stumble people. Who does he think he is? Who do, I don't think at all. It's word of truth. What you not, what ye not, what the scripture said of Elijah. What's it say about that? Um, 11, 2, 1. To know. Do you not know? Know you not what the scripture said of Elias? So what? <laughs> W-O-T, word of truth, word of truth, means no. Know you not, what, what ye not, that the scripture said of Elijah, that he maketh intercession to God against Israel, saying, Lord, they have killed thy prophets and dig down thy altars. I am left alone and they seek my life. But what saith the answer of God unto him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. So even though... Elijah knew who he was because the Lord was working with him. The Lord, the Lord was dealing with him. And that's how he knows. I might have to move. It doesn't always work. Let me roll up the window. Oh, God. It is what it is, people. Um, 7,000 men. There's 7,000 other men that are walking around going, I know the Lord. I'm, I'm of the seed of Abraham. He's talking about Israel. He's talking about his people that were sent to do these jobs, to do these missions, to do these apostleships to dig into the Bible every day, to tell people the difference between GMS and their left foot. Even so then, verse 5, 11 Romans, even so then at this present time also there is a remnant according to the election of grace. So there's this grace period and there's these people that are have been sent this election the elect. See, that's what's odd about GMS. They um, claim to be looking for the elect and da, 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 da. But I'm right here in their face and they don't even know. They don't even, they wouldn't know the elect if they bumped into them on the corner. And that's what's so interesting about these guys. Their, their conscience is so seared and their reprobate spirit is so fully engaged that they say the exact opposite of what what is true there is no knowledge there it's all it's it's all demonic chitter chatter that's basically just clanging cymbals so they, we have these guys out here on the corners clanging cymbals um driving people's minds into all kinds of sick thought processes here comes horn guy Horn guy. Horn guy. <laughs> Funny dude. Um. So let me continue. Well, um, even so, then at this present time, also there is a remnant according to the election of grace. And if by grace, then it is no more of works. Otherwise, grace is no more grace. But if it be of works, then it is no more grace. Otherwise, work is no more work. Um, let's go, let's see what it says on the bottom about the people cast away. Has God cast away his people? Um, the question is asked in such a way that we know Paul expected a negative answer. 
The question is answered by a direct denial. God forbid. This chapter is designed to show that God has abrogated all his promises to Israel. She is only temporarily uh, she is only temporarily laid aside. When God has finished his largely Gentile work in the church, Israel will once again be restored and flourish with the blessing of God. Notice that the church does not take over all the promises to Israel. They are two very distinct, distinct works of God. Um, so we see that Israel, the reason Israel is here, even to this present day, is to call out to everyone the good news, the gospel, the the coming of our Savior to redeem us from this wickedness. And see, one of the biggest issues that we don't understand as humans is that we have a creator and he put us here to see if we if we would recognize him. And through the fall of Adam and Eve, this, this disobedience, this um, stiff-necked rebellion, that's how we got pushed away. Lord, the Lord said, man, you can't, you can't listen to me? Then, then I'm going to give you into the hand of, the, of my servants. So we, his servants were the satanic realm Satan and his fellow workers who are here to put judgment on the people that won't come back to, to him the Bible says turn away from Satan and he will flee from you um, the, the goal is to be honest to be truthful to be caring to be tender-hearted sweet um, of continence in these things the um, you can't you can't s submit anything to the Lord uh, that he's going to accept if it's not true if it's not the truth if it's not honest if it's not um, giving charity caring um, it's not easy here because we're in a world that has um, beaten all these things out of us it's hard to actually care enough to sit down every day and and talk about this this God that we have this wonderful wonderful all-powerful loving um, creator of everything that we see so here I sit agreeing with Paul that um, Israel has to do what Israel has to do and that's what the elect are we we're, we're we've been chosen we've been sent to do these jobs and the the pain of it the the heartbreak is that um, instead of seeing my channel go from 42 to 48 to 58 to, to 100 to 200 to to 500 um, I, I haven't even got 50 subscribers yet and all I do is sit here and talk about the Bible it's not difficult it might be difficult to listen when I'm not saying anything but I'm to the point now where just about everything I say has some meaning so um, what, what's going on here is people are listening to, um, false prophets and you'll see it all over the internet. Um, there are good Bible teachers. John MacArthur is amazing. He's one of these famous pastors that got famous by actually teaching the Bible <laughs> instead of anything else. He's He's straight up. He teaches the Bible. John MacArthur, grace to you. I very seldom, seldom hear him miss speak on on anything that's relevant to the Bible. And so there, there's one person that I trust. Um, 
anyway, back to um, back to Romans. What then? Israel has not obtained that which it seeketh for, but the election has obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Uh, I've got it. I've got I've I got what I what what I was sent here for. I have what I was promised. This surfer girl's funny. Her truck's knocking. And she's got her lawn board in the back. She's ready to go surfing. Um turn off the truck, girly. Oh jeez. Alright. So the so the elect have obtained it, but the rest they were blinded. Um that that is what I was speaking of when I talked about the burden, this heavy load. Um it would be amazingly wonderful to one day have a hundred subscribers. Um, it would be amazingly wonderful to have 50. I was checking, I was showing some of my friends um, that I do Bible teaching. I'm up to 960 videos. Um, that's a lot. Of work and it's it wasn't to entertain anyone all I'm all I'm doing is reading from the Bible and explaining um, what the scriptures are saying to you and to us as a warning as a um, correction as a edifying it's it's to bring understanding word of truth what what you not what the scriptures say about Elijah know you not what W-O-T it's right here look <laughs> what ye not what the scriptures say of Elijah and then over here it says what does what mean Two, eleven, two. One, no. So these are the things that, as time goes on, if you're riding with me, you hear me say what? I'm saying word of truth. No, know you not the word of truth? Um, so I'll be back. We'll, um, I think we'll, I'll just keep going in, uh, <clears throat> I'm just going to keep going in Romans. I'm going to pull back out of here. Um, so I'm not distracted and then we'll, um, We'll finish with some Romans. All right, I'm out.